boys and girls. Today we are going to clean up. Oven pieces. These oven pieces are in dire need of some cleanup. So, so let me run it down to you while you watch me get busy. Uh, apparently, in the middle of the night, we hear a big psh, and it was the outer oven glass that broke randomly. No one wanted to own up to it. So. Of course, I had to brainstorm and figure out how I was going to get this right. Not going to show you the oven as of right now, just showing you the cleaning and reinstallation process. I guess we got to go old school. And what this is, is just all stuck on food, which I don't know how it gets there. It's supposed to be like a sealed system. I will say we like to eat. So. And also, if you notice, what I'm really trying to do is do it at a full corner pace. Try not to bend this frame at all. It was a tough week and a half with no oven. Closer to two weeks. We ordered an original glass, but guess what they sent us? Just a frame. No glass. This was even after talking to a rep and confirming it was supposed to have the glass with it. So after getting my refund days later, I was able to apply those funds to get the new glass. I do recommend wearing gloves to this. You're gonna be mixing chemicals. All this shit. If you enjoy this style of ASMR, fix it, DIY, or rebuild type videos, don't forget to hit a like, share, subscribe. Think of it this way, your family's gonna be eating off of this. And I'm not leaving it in the bucket, because the bucket is obviously dirty. I'm just using the edges of this wheelbarrow bucket to help me brace it so I can wipe it. Not bad, looking all cleaned up. First, I'd like to take this time to thank everyone watching, all my viewers and subscribers. Thank you. I'm spending my entire morning doing this. Stuff you hope your family appreciates. I didn't break it. I'm just letting y'all know it, it was broken. I didn't break it. And then that's not me not owning up to something. I'm damn sure here fixing it. Best as we can, clean this up.
this is the side where you will never see. This is the side where, you know. Look this up for y'all so y'all can see the transformation. All right, moving on to the back side. Yes. Still a lot of glass in here. Really just want not the element to get wet. You gotta catch it before it drips down. We get cold all that shit. You might want to use something stronger than what I'm using so it goes fast. Add a little bit of bleach in my mixture. Now we just put some elbow, put some elbow grease into it. Definitely had to shout out my friend and neighbor, Mr. K, for being local and supplying the glass. He went to a local wholesale appliance repair facility, typically for vendors only. But if you were a DIY person, you could shop with them yourself. But him having an account with them allowed us to get this for a lot cheaper and actually help the effectiveness of this install. So definitely got to shout out my good friend and neighbor, Mr. K. Take the drip down. I might even let this element just chill for a while before turning it back on. Only using the all-purpose cleaner, Lysol, and the disinfectant wipes at this time, just to try to keep it. So it's of course best to lay down your 3M tape and have your positioning already figured out try to do that before you lay down the 3m tape don't make the mistake i did because now i'm trying to line it up so it lines up perfect <laughs> lay down your 3m tape right take off your red layer definitely do not use any other tape if it doesn't have the red layer it's not right um you need 30 degrees 30 pounds of hold not degrees but 30 pounds of hold for the double-sided tape so you could feel secure about the oven glass not shifting or moving while you're using the door. I kind of figured this would go without saying, but definitely be careful handling the glass. Obviously, you just broke the other glass. Be careful handling the new glass. You don't want to go down the same rabbit hole again. Wait a minute, I love Snoopy too. It's a bomb. It's holding. It's holding the best it's going to be. So, of course, now it's time to reattach everything. And simply, in the same order you deattached everything, you reattach everything. Very simple. So, the four screws at the bottom go back in their proper holes. Then the two holes at the top are for the handle like brand new. voila there you have it it's done <laughs>